Okay, dat.gui now. The dat GUI is another very useful tool that we can use to learn about 3JS as it allows us to quickly add a very basic user interface to interact with our 3D scene and the objects within it. So for example, this on the right here is the dat.gui and I can interact with the scene using it. So we'll add this to our existing project and we'll use it in many of the lessons going forward because it's very useful. Okay, so we're going to install DAT GUI now from the official repository. In older versions of 3JS, it was included in the libs folder, but no longer. So copy that line, stop your program, control C. Okay, right click, npm install dat.gui, save dev, enter. Now, at the time of creating this video, I should also install the type definitions for DAT GUI. Okay, so npm install at types dat GUI, save dev. Very good. Okay, so in package JSON, there are two new dependencies. There are types dat GUI and there is dat GUI. Okay, so now we can add an import for dat GUI into our project. So client, okay, import GUI from dat dot GUI. Enter. Okay, so we're not using it yet, so that's why it's doled out like that. But anyway, let's go down further. And just before my animate function, I'm going to create a new GUI. Const GUI equals a new GUI like that okay now if i just start up my application and go back to the browser we have a gui but there's nothing in there let's add some controls to it so gui dot add our target object so any objects in our scene can be a target so cube is a good one cube dot rotation the property name of the target object will be x needs to be a string the minimum value zero and the maximum value will be math dot pi times two okay and save that now cube is an object but also rotation rotation is a three euler and euler needs its angles in radians so that's what math pi times two is doing it's the equivalent of 360 degrees but math dot pi times two returns a number that is in radians okay so let's look at that in the browser up here there's now a new property x and we can manage that but i'm just going to turn the rotation off so that it doesn't also affect the cube control s okay so it's no longer rotating automatically but now i can just do it using that okay we don't have to do just the x property of rotation we can do y and also z to know what properties of an object there are because we have TypeScript installed we can just press a dot and it can show us many properties that we can set XYZ for example so I'll just remove that Control S to save okay so XYZ Y Z and X now looking at my example here on the web page we have these little things that you can toggle on and off they are called folders so I'll add a folder now first one I will call cube so GUI dot add folder it wants to know the name as a string so cube also I should put that into a variable const cube folder equals GUI add folder cube and instead of adding our controls to GUI instead we now add our controls to the cube folder like that Control S to save. And now there's cube. Now it's closed by default when you first visit your page. We can make it open by default. Cube folder dot open. Enter. Now when it refreshes, it's open by default. Now we can add a second folder, which I'll use to control the camera. The camera is a different object in our scene. So const camera folder equals GUI dot add folder camera. Enter camera folder dot add the target object this time will be a camera dot position and the property of position I want to modify is Z a minimum zero and a maximum 20 enter control s I will also open the camera folder by default there we go okay we have a new folder camera now if I refresh this note how default here is 2 that's because camera Z was already set to 2 at the beginning of the code if I scroll up there camera position dot Z equals 2 if I change that to 4 for example the GUI has already input 4 as its default because it got that from the existing camera position Z property I'll put that back to 2 like that 
Okay, so you can add more controls for other properties if you've seen, if you want. But as the course progresses, there are many examples of using the GUI with all kinds of things, such as changing color or adding text and modifying any property in a scene. So that's just the very beginnings of using the GUI. And because the DAC GUI is an independent project, you can use it in any JavaScript projects you want, where you might want to interact with the objects or properties within your code, not just 3JS. Anyway, excellent. Also, Going down, the official boilerplate has a specific stats GUI branch where the default will already provide the stats panel and the GUI already in the code. So you'd get it from there. You clone it from that repository address, CD into the folder, git checkout stats GUI, npm install, npm run dev, and then visit that address. Excellent. In the next video, we'll start looking at the object 3D, which is core 3JS functionality. Excellent.